At 20 years old, Rory McDonald is the youngest fighter in the UFC. But the native of Kelowna, British Columbia already has 10 fights under his belt and 10 wins. At 16, he turned pro, and he was making grown men in their 20s cry. So, yeah, yeah, it's been it's been quite a ride for him. Rory's early success earned him an invitation to train with countryman George St. Pierre, the reigning welterweight champ. The biggest thing I take out of it is confidence. Every time that I can compete with the top-level guys, I just get more and more confident in my abilities. Nice. There's not a single person that has barred with Rory that didn't walk away saying, holy <laughs> that kid can fight. Diamond with the kick. Nice takedown. There's not too many guys in the world that have his striking mixed with his grappling. And uh, I think he's going to open a lot of eyes in his next UFC fight against Carlos. Carlos Condit was also a prodigy, turning heads at a young age. Fourth or fifth grade, he got involved with wrestling and discovered his first love. Uh, it would have been easier to take Christmas away from Carlos than it would have been to not let him wrestle. When I was about 15, 16, I started getting into mixed martial arts. I learned quickly. I have the body type to, you know, master a lot of the moves. And I have blood smeared all over your face and, you know, getting hit in the lips so hard that, it, you know, it tingles. It kind of felt good to me. Carlos's dad is the chief of staff to Bill Richardson, uh, the governor for New Mexico. His mother lives in Portland. She's a nurse. I guess you could say Carlos is the black sheep, <laughs> as it were. But he definitely went his own way. He came home and advised me that he had a gig. He said, well, I have a fight in Juarez, Mexico. Uh, so that was a bit of a shocker, and yeah, I didn't quite understand it. At a very young age, I felt like a warrior. I was a warrior. That's kind of what I was destined to be. Carlos won his first eight fights, five by submission and three by knockout. At 22, with an 18 and four record, he was invited to join the WEC. My first fight with WEC, I won in the first round pretty decisively, so they decided to uh, give me a title shot against John Alessio. I was stoked. Nice shot from Condit. Alessio, he talked a lot of man. Condit on his feet, throwing the knees. So I fought him from bell to bell, and I took his will. I, I made him want to get out of the cage. John Alessio's in a lot of trouble right now. That was huge for me. He's in that armbar! He's in there deep! Carlos defended his WEC welterweight title four times before the division folded. I was WEC champion for about two years. I still feel like a champion. I don't feel like I ever lost that title. Carlos In his second UFC fight against Jake Ellenberger, Condit's warrior spirit saved the day. Carlos Condit and Jake Ellenberger. I got off the blocks a little bit late, and, you know, he capitalized, and he came out, and he put some leather on me. Caught him with the right hand again, once and twice, three times. I felt like my eyeball exploded. Condit is in huge trouble here. Wow! I don't quit, though. The ref didn't stop it. As long as I was still conscious, as long as I was still friggin' breathing, I was gonna win. You know, you'd think Condit would be in trouble for the rest of the fight, but he is coming back. Unbelievable. Showing the heart of a champion. Ten seconds remains in the fight. We go to the judges' scorecards. What a fight. Now, after hand surgery forced a nine-month layoff, Condit finds in his way an opponent traveling a familiar path. I look at McDonald and I see a young up-and-comer, you know, not so different from where I was just a few years ago. I don't think that he's fought anybody of my caliber up to this point. In the last four years, I've been fighting the best competition in the world. I'm the better fighter at this point. This is my lovely contribution from Carlos, if you can get a close-up on the bruises. He kicks hard! 
we've heard it all before. Rory's fought a lot of guys that have had, you know, two, three times as many fights as he's had. And every time, those guys have been either knocked out or submitted. I was going to put him in his place and let him know that he's going to have to grow a little bit before he can get in a cage with uh, a Carlos Condit. Oh, big shot from Condit. I've got twice the knockouts and twice the submissions he does. Rory's won by knockout, ground and pound, triangle choke, rear naked choke, pretty much every single way you can win a fight. A lot of people sleep on Rory, and at the end of the night, they're the ones sleeping. Nobody's ever knocked me out. You can crush my body, but you can't touch my spirit. You know, I will keep coming no matter what. This dude's tenacious, but he ain't never met a dog like me. Otto again. Potty is still in trouble. I believe he's still trying to find out where he is. And now he's back with knees. Unbelievable. He's right about his spirit being very strong. I watch his fights, and, you know, he just keeps coming, keeps coming. But when my hands land, it's lights out. There's no fighting back. This is going to be the fight of the night. I have no doubt about it. Have you seen my finish ratio? I finish people. I finish people. I'm going to finish you. Fight's over. That's it. What an arm ball. That is it. Are you kidding me? I'm going to be the best. Perhaps we're seeing the future. Here tonight. Carlos is just another stepping stone. I will be the winner of this fight. Carlos Condit's going to dominate Rory McDonald. Absolutely. <laughs>